In much the same way as the graphics environment, Plot Preview has been modified to include the, the new version 6 type features. Um, the first thing you'll notice when you, you load data into to Plot Preview and start selecting it using the Select tool um, is that it's grouped together. We group all data in a plot into a number of groups, the first being the the sheet entities, the title blocks, the grids, etc, etc. And all of that information is classed as locked. Um, you can unlock it quite easily over here in the properties pane. All locked means is that it can't be modified. The data on the other hand comes in as one big group um, but is not locked so you can move it and do what you like with it. Um, the legend over on the left here um, is the same. It comes in as a group but it is uh, not locked. Once you have a group selected, um, by right clicking on it you can ungroup it um, which will explode it into its smaller components. Um, in this case the smaller component of it is a title block minus the border um, and you can use again the move tool to grab your title block and shove it up the screen. Uh, oh hang on, sorry, my apologies. The title block is locked. Um, the, the, the default locking mechanism may be something that we'll look at changing in the uh, the near future, but you can then drag your title block to the top of the screen and put it wherever you like. Um, in the same way with your um, all your various objects in your, your legend, um, if we ungroup those we can then select, move out um, or delete particular elements out of your legend if you don't particularly want them. Once an object is ungrouped, if we just zoom in on this a little bit, um, you can uh, use the selection tool again to select a group of things right click on them, group them and you've just created your own group of uh, specific objects um, so if we whoops, go to the move tool and grab those, there's our group that we just created um, and so there the, 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 the grouping type functionality in, oh, that's the grouping type functionality in plot preview um, the other thing we can now do in Plot Preview is mark up plots in a, a much nicer way. You can create capped lines um, which have a symbol uh, at the start and at the end. If I just do a simple one then create a line, escape that and you get the symbol that you want at each end of the line. Um, again you can do uh, a line with um, text at the end. So if we just put a symbol at the start and say okay I want to point to this part of the pit go over here, then it'll ask me for some text, apply that, you get your description over here pointing to your point on your, your plot. Um, so it's a quick way to mark up. The final tool here is a ruler um, which allows you um, to, to specify what you want to do. Um, scale options that is taken from the, the plot file so it should be at the scale that you, you've already created and you can change the, the start and end symbol if you like um, and again you just select a couple of points and there's your measurement tool